guys, there's a lot of moving parts to doing these giant armies. You know, this is, I, let me tell you, I'm only making this look easy. This is like, seriously, there, there's a reason why painting studios don't grow past, you know, two or maybe even four people. And it's because, you know, there's, there's difficulties intrinsic to the system and to the market itself. Uh, and boy, I could, I could go on for about an hour about that. So it's, uh, so what I did is I'm like, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Cause there's, there's kind of, how do I explain this? There's a, so someone commissions a project, they give us written instructions on how to do it. So it's by, it's by contract, not by opinion. Like there's written instructions, there's specifications. If we do it like that, this project's done. And it has to be done that way. Because otherwise, well, you could do it other ways. It just takes longer and obviously, you know, is more expensive. Um, is uh, because otherwise you got to do things like multiple times, you know. Um, so in this project, you know, everything's gone smoothly. There's been no alteration, but there was one. It was like change, but it's like that takes time and that's fine. It's all good. But the truth is that, you know, if you change course on a project, it, it does, uh, it does take a little longer to do it. So anyway, uh, hold on guys. I got to get some chocolate bread. So what happens is it all happens kind of behind closed doors. Uh, which is fine. The system is designed for that. And then at the end, we show the client what's going on. And I'm like, you know what would be better? It'd be to show them as we went along, you know? And so I'm doing projects by appointment so that when the, by the time the project's done, there's, there's no surprises. This says chocolate brown. Yes, that's what I need. I got to do all these marauders and chocolate brown. 40 of them. Here we go. Basin, edge in the bases, burp, burp. Chocolate, boy, that's hardly different than what they are now. All right, so, um, oh, I didn't dry brush the tops of those guys. You know what, I better do that first. Clean my brush. I gotta change my water. By the way, drinking lots of water. Drinking lots of water is good. So I'm trying a new format, and uh, now I have this team in-house. This client, I made like, I think, somewhere between 8 and 12 videos for him. And I'm like, oh, so for whole armies, like big, this basically is the equivalent of like doing three armies at once. Three big armies. Well, think of it, 300 figures. Good gravy. I mean, for 40K, you could have an army that's like 40 to 60 figures, you know. They can be pretty low model count. Of course, that includes tanks and stuff. So, let's see here. Oh yeah, dry brush the tops of those. Overbrush them. So I've got this crew and I made a ton of videos for the client. We're gonna do a certificate of authenticity. Cause I was trying to think, what are the little things I could do that would just be like cool? You know, so we're going to do a certificate. Last night we took pictures of all of us, all the artists like kind of together. So we're going to send the client kind of an autographed, you know, thing of that. And, and dated too. So making an army like have pageantry in its execution. Like it's, it was, it was a party to do this army. It was, it was an event that happened that could be remembered fondly. And boy, for the people that have worked on this, we're definitely going to remember working on this army. And so, and then we do two videos, typically a, uh, like an overview, which you guys have seen me do a lot. Clients love that. But right now it's like, that's not part of it. Um, and let's see here, overview and then a battle report. So assuming, you know, what, are, what the client wants, but we're gonna, we're gonna do some special things and there'll be like a record of it. The other thing is I do a recipe. In fact, I gotta do that today. Uh, I interviewed, not interviewed, but I talked to the artists yesterday 
about, you know, how did they do the reds? How did they do, you know, it's funny because for like the lower level guys, it's like, well, I overbrushed uh, gore red and then I did a highlight of, you know, of uh, carmine or true red. And so that's, you know, that's great. It looks very handsome on a level three. And then, but for the higher level stuff, it was like, well, I started off with a base of this, then I did a, uh, you know, a two-tone base, and then I started putting the color in. So, you know, I started with Prussian blue, then a royal blue, then royal blue mixed with 30% white, you know, and then a, finally a highlight of sky blue or, you know, whatever it is. Like it had like, it's a lot of... It's a lot of layers to get that effect on those grail knights, you know? And so that, that, that made me happy. I, I like the recipe. And the other thing is I'm going to publish the recipes on our Flickr page. So armies that are done this way, because a, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing is going to be, you know, the tried and true method here. And for a smaller project that works out, there's not a whole lot to talk about while you're painting 10 guys, you know? And... So uh, I'm going to have that, and I'm going to have artists that work that way. Uh, I've refined that system a lot better. Uh, and But for the big stuff, which has been always BTP's forte, it's like, well, who are you? What are you doing in the market? What is, what's, your, what's your brand? What's your strength? And I'm like, you know what? I got, from the very beginning, I got into this to do these themed armies, to do these large forces. And now that I'm more practiced at, um, um, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Handling people, you know, managing human resources. Uh, it's like you can really, you can really make something amazing. And this is this is only the beginning. I have like I have ideas. I have a big vision of what it is that I want to do with this, like. What is the most amazing version of this that you could have? And of course, some of you, if you've been, if you've been paying attention, are like, ah, oh, that's Valhalla. Yes, that's Valhalla. But uh, I've done 14 dress rehearsals for Valhalla now, 14 times where we tried it. And now I have you know, a better idea of what I want personally, what it could be, and um, you know, what needs to happen to really make it what it is in my head. You know, and so yeah, this team is amazing. They they can't wait to keep working together. I mean, it was really outstanding. It was funny because um, two of us, me and one other person on the team, were talking because we're divorced, and we we were talking like, oh, did you you know was your thing this way? How did this work? You know, but then another member of the team sitting right there was, uh, is just getting there, is like engaged. You know, it was interesting, I think, to hear that, to hear that from two other people that have kind of been through it. So I went out with this woman in, uh, or like really, really early this year. And it was a time where I was like, because I didn't know how it would turn out. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a safety net <laughs> taking this leap. Didn't know, uh, didn't know exactly what it would be. And so, but she was married in her 20s. And then uh, she had another person that she was with for 10 years. And she, uh, she was talking to me and she's like, you know, when things went south, uh, I... You know, since we weren't married, my name was on the lease. I just told him to get the F out. And, you know, and it was like, there's no paperwork, no waiting period. There was, it was just like, it was purely just on this human level. And of course, I'm not saying that's a, to summarily just kick this person out. Uh, obviously, it's more complicated than that. But, um, but I call those GTFO divorces or, you know that it's like, well, if you, don't, if you don't have the paperwork, then it becomes this very uh, simple human sort of arrangement. And, um, you know, it's, it's not lost to me that, 
I'm, uh, I'm on, definitely on the um, outside of this topic. And listen, I'm not telling anybody how to live their lives, you know, that uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. How it's going. Anyway, so I got to tell you, I, you know, now I'm kind of, I'm restructuring blue table painting. Oh, yes, that's it. So what I'm doing now is I'm, uh, I, I formed a team. It's not affecting the main operation. So all those things are getting through as fast as they were before. Uh, and I do plan on adding some manpower on that scale. So those projects are kind of like, that's how they're being done. And if I had my way, I would clear these all out by the end of this year. Uh, it's probably not going to happen. It's probably going to roll into next year. But, uh, so I have this team here. And the faces are going to change. There's going to be some rotation. Some of them are going to move into sort of the regular channel, which I'm winding down to some degree. I'll always have like, you know, I, I welcome people with small projects. That's fine. That's great. We're, we're a great place to go for that. And here's why. Because I have a crew of artists where I can, I can channel your project to someone who's going to love that project. And so, but the other thing is we have slots open for that. So it's by appointment. Large projects by appointment. Themed armies by appointment. And we can handle that. We can handle it. You know, that by bringing the right amount of manpower to something and the right organization and the know-how and the equipment, this can get done, like, amazingly. And if in the past you've had us do a large project for you and it's kind of dragged on, I'm on that. I'm here all the time working to make sure that is not the case for 2016. I am, because I have this, and I'm excited about it. I'm like, this is great. Let's do it this way, where there's all this attention, almost an overkill of communication. And yeah, by the way, that's not good <laughs> to stick the whole brush in. But I'm doing it. No, I'm not. I can't. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. Just have to clean it right now. All right, there we go. Gently work it onto the cloth. Oh, that's nice. Love me a well-cleaned brush. So anyway, um, so we've got slots open. The next slot that's available is December 4th through 12th. And so all my project moms any size, I can manhandle it into that. And every project that I do in that track is actually going to help the expediency of the uh, regularly scheduled projects. So, uh, and then I have one, I have uh, five slots open in January, basically approximately one every week with some overlap to them. And so if you're interested in that, boy, you should contact me at projects at bluetablepainting.com. Yeah, see, you thought this is going to be a fun personal video. Oh, no, 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 it's a pitch. It's a pitch. But you know what? The fact is, that's how all the kids eat around here. There was one time I counted 27 children who were getting, getting food on their table because of this operation. That's really something. It was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot of kids. So not the least of which is my own. You know, they, they do well and, and have fun things or the basics, you know, depending on how strong blue table painting is, how, how, this, how this is going. And yeah, all right. I've, uh, I've edged exactly four marauders. So internet dating, man. I gotta tell you, I have loved dating. Some people dread it, but I gotta tell you, if I, if I could make dating my full-time job and just go out on like two dates a day, man, I would do that. It's great, I absolutely love it. Cause I go into it, it's like, I think sometimes it's like there's expectations. Like, ah, oh, this was bad, it was, a, it was bad. You know, it didn't go according to plan. It's like, well, but yeah, what if you, 
What if it's like, if it's just worthwhile for its own sake? You know, like if I'm getting to know somebody, I don't, I don't expect them to be a certain way. I expect them to be however they are, you know, and that's the whole point of going out, you know. And uh, I got to tell you, I have, you know, the women that I've gotten to know a little bit better uh, have been all just human beings of great value and class, just this high quality of people. I mean, I have met some amazing women. It's just really, really neat. Some of those have turned into friendships and some of them have turned into nothing. You know, and they can't all turn into something. You know, that would just be, that would be exhausting. You know, you couldn't, could you, could you, could you maintain, you know, 15 women at once, I wonder? That's, uh, well, Brigham Young did it. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've definitely, definitely enjoyed it. And life is, life has been good this year. So, you know, guys, I haven't, this is the first time I've really talked about what's going on with me. And the fans can sense it. People that have been with BTP a long time, it's like, I get Facebook messages and emails like, Sean, are you okay? How are things going? You know, and people are, people are so sweet about it. And, you know, even people from, well, and that's been another transition because obviously, you know, religion is, uh, at the very least, is like a social factor, you know, and that all just kind of disintegrated for me. And, uh, and that, that, that was my own doing, you know. I, uh, but it was, it was almost like, you know, how you, how you, uh, you know, in a divorce you split everything up, you know, and, and sometimes the joke is you split the friends up too. And uh, I'm like, yep, that's basically what happened. You know, Tammy got the church people. And again, that's okay with me. I didn't, you know, I'm not voicing a complaint at all. It, uh, but for me, it meant my social group went down to basically rich, you know? Like, oh, let's talk about rich. My uh, wargaming buddy. He, um, you know, I've known him for years now. And I got to tell you, Rich was kind of my main person that I had contact with during these very strange, tumultuous times. Come on, Chocolate Brown, don't give up on me now. I need to, I need to finish 26 Marauders. Ah, there we go. That's probably too much now. He's like, he was like totally inspired. That paint bottle. I just gave that paint bottle a pep talk. So yeah, Rich, you know, there was a point in time where I actually was worried that I was going to run out of food. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't tell, I shouldn't tell that story. But yeah, Rich, uh, Rich came through. So, you know, people are always there for me. And that's kind of the truth of my existence. Um, that uh, I'm smiled upon by, by humanity. Wow, this brush, I've really kind of, kind of ruined this brush through doing all this dry brushing and edging. So that is, that is my life. I can't really tell you uh, about my dating experiences at this time. Not ready for that. Uh, I do want to start my relationship show. That's kind of like, you know, I love my profession. I love miniatures. When I think of my life, ideally, how I could have it any way I wanted it, I'm like, yeah, this is something I'm still going to do. You know, one way or another, this is something that's it's exciting to me. It's fun. It's like this flight of fancy. But uh, do want to do, wanna do my relationship show. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where you know, I, I usually run head first into things and don't worry about what other people think. Um, that's, that's been a hallmark of my life, really, is not, um, you know, not consulting other people. And uh, that, that has pros and cons. But with the relationship show, I kind of, I don't know, I've been kind of a chicken about it, you know? Like I, in my mind, like, I just, I want it to be so great that I'm just not doing it. And that's, that's no way to be. It's no way to go forward. 
So, yeah. Oh, I gotta do snow basing on these guys. Yep. Yeah. 10, 20, 25. That's how many I got done so far. So, my kids, they're doing good. They, um... Oh, yeah, that's kind of the big news in the Gately family is... Well, and what's funny is Tammy and I were talking and she was like, you know, Sean, you didn't divorce the kids. And, and that's true. It's like, yeah, they're, that's, that's, a, that's an important like, relationship to maintain there. And so, so the, the, I mean, it's almost a mechanic. It's like the institution of marriage can you know, bind things together, but the wind down of it can actually be a force to break things apart where they don't have to be broken apart. You know, there's like a social impetus behind that, you know, to kind of do away with the dad. Oh, I said that out loud. Yeah, that's that. Well, that hasn't happened to me. I've just I've just heard about that, you know, and I, I don't I don't think that should be the case. Wow, I'm actually getting, <coughs> excuse me, kind of a scratchy throat from talking so much. I've heard that's a that's a problem for professional broadcasters. So what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, the kids. So the big news in the Gately family is the kids are back in public school. So we were homeschooling them. It was wonderful. And um, we let them go back. My thing was like, you know what? If they don't want to be there, we got to find a different way to do this. Because I do not like them being indoctrinated by force. You know, It's funny, my 10-year-old senses this is happening at church. He sensed it for a long time and he doesn't like it. He, um, he's very, he's very resistant and, uh, it's interesting. It's very interesting. He doesn't, he does, he's like, wait a minute, we're all traveling in a herd. Where are we going? And so, well, the thing is it's, it's boring for him. So it could be that simple too. So yeah, they're back in school. And at first I was like, you know, my daughter, who obviously has her unique way of applying her facial makeup her war paint, um, she, uh, I thought she was going to have a hard time at school, but she hasn't. The other kids have been really, really, really great. Um, they just have complimented her on her uniqueness. And I'm like, wow, I got to tell you guys, that's different than Southern Oregon in the 80s. So, which by the way, was a magic time. Magic time. Southern Oregon in the 80s. Fantastic. You know, this is, good. this is going to go pretty fast. I think I'm going to be able to do this. It's uh, 1 o'clock. The rest of the crew is going to be here at 4. And, yeah, I'll change at into normal 